Y'all know Pete, this guy, Pete Wilkins, he runs the channel Gaming Careers. He's super great. And he's actually one of my inspirations for starting this channel. I saw his video about a year ago where he makes a really simple stream transition in After Effects. And I thought, huh, I could make a video making a very similar stream transition in this free program DaVinci Resolve. It'd be pretty accessible, it'd be pretty easy. So I did that and then I kept making tutorials and it's been going pretty good. But just a few days ago, I was watching one of Pete's new videos where he makes a going live announcement GIF and he designs that in After Effects. And I was watching that again thinking, huh, I think I could do that in DaVinci Resolve. And then he showed this screen where he had used the techniques in that video to make four different versions of the same announcement GIF. One for going live on Twitch, one for a new post on Instagram, one for a new video on YouTube, and one advertising a Discord community. And that's really where I got excited because I knew that I could create a preset that not only included his main design for going live or dropping a new video, but included multiple different versions in one effect. And this is what I came up with. It's a drag and drop preset inside DaVinci Resolve that by default pulls up the YouTube logo and says that you have a new video on YouTube and then advertises your username at the end. And it's designed to perfectly loop. But if we select this preset and go to our inspector over here under title, you'll see that we have a few different controls. And if I don't want this to be about a YouTube video, if I want it to be about a new Instagram post, I can uncheck YouTube, check Instagram, and now the entire video has changed to recommend a new post. So you would have to go in here and change video to post. Then you could use the controls to make that fit a little better on Instagram. And then the link at the end changes to Instagram and you could enter your same username. And the same goes for Twitch. Say you're going live. Again, use the controls to make that look a little better on twitch.tv, your username, and for Discord. Check that, and the logo pops up. You could change this text. And you could have a really slick looping GIF to drive traffic to your Discord server. I was able to make this preset using the incredibly powerful macro system in the Fusion page of DaVinci Resolve. I made this entirely for free and it's compatible with the free version of DaVinci Resolve and I am giving it away to you all for free. I know this can be super useful whether you want to advertise a new video or a post or drive traffic to your live streams or your Discord. All you need is this one preset. But there's another whole side of this that I am very excited about and that is how this preset can serve as a learning tool for you all to grow in your skills inside the Fusion page. With the preset selected in your inspector, you can click this icon to load up the preset in the Fusion page. Then you should see your media out and this stack of grouped nodes. If you double click that stack, it will open up. And this is the node tree for this effect. This is exactly what I built to get this final product. And with just a little poking around, you'll be able to find out exactly how I built this, how I animated each bit of text. And you'll also know where to swap in or change for your own elements. Here is where you would need to go to change the color of the text or the background, or you could even swap out any of the included logos with your own logo or your own branding. I love putting together tools like these, and I would love for them to be an inspiration and a learning resource for all of you to start creating your own tools. Not only can you create amazing graphics for your stream or videos, but you can create presets and templates like these to share and add to the community. This preset includes four different styles, but it could easily be many, many more. I just had to stop working so I could get this video out. But one of the last things I need to mention is exporting and converting. Just like Pete's example, this is mainly meant to be shared as a looping GIF on social media to promote your YouTube or Twitch or your Instagram or your Discord. So once you have your settings dialed in, you can click this button to go over to the deliver page. And then using this prompt, you can choose a location and a name for your file and select your resolution and frame rate. This preset as is needs a timeline that is 60 frames per second. But after you export your 60 frames per second video, you can convert that however you need to. So I'm actually gonna change this to MP4 and that'll be a 1080 60. And then we can choose a location for that file and click this button to add to render queue 
It'll add it to the render queue on this right side of the screen and we can click render all to render that. After you have that exported MP4, I'm gonna direct you right back to Pete's video because he walks through converting an MP4 to GIF using a website that he recommends. So a link to his video and that website will be in the description, absolutely check it out. But once you do that, you'll have a fully custom animated GIF to show off your amazing creative work. As always, I hope this video was useful to you. If you use this preset and you create any promotional material, I would love to see it. Please drop a link in the comments. We've done a few of these free preset giveaways now, so make sure to check over on my channel to make sure you haven't missed anything, and subscribe to make sure you don't miss anything in the future. Thanks, I'll see you next time.